Hey there, this is Dolphin. I have been using a headphone amplifier for years now just so that I have a volume control on my desktop and uh, the potentiometer, the, the volume dial, began, began to become scratchy because it's a cheap part and so I finally wanted to replace it, was annoyed. So this is what it looks like what I'm currently using. I removed the one from microphone. This is a usually for uh, um, headphone, monitor headphone amplifier. Yeah, um, a monitor. There's also one with four dials here, but for, for uh, usability reasons, I like to have, you know, all the cables to the left and volume control here, hands-free, you know, nothing in the way, no, no plug down here. <clears throat> so I find this nice. And this costs 25 bucks. Okay, so lowest of the lowest, but the headphone amplification was all right. And so I wanted to get something better. And uh, so what I tried is the Sabash PHA1. And this comes for 44 bucks. Uh, I'm talking Euro right now, 44 Euros. So presumably a different price class and I was sadly disappointed of this. <coughs> um, this. This is a Chinese, from China directly, Chinese brand, and I, I had some hopes. So, um, so this should be in a different price class and the specs and everything uh, promised a higher quality and the potentiometer here, uh, a, good, a good one, high quality, allegedly, you know, it looks from the, PCB photo, it looks uh, more expensive. Um, so I connected, so first I, I couldn't use my uh, my power supply here. This is not mini USB, this is micro USB, but hey, there was a micro USB cable in it. So I connected it via USB for power supply. And you know, I was wondering about five volts, whether you can, uh, power this thing properly with five volts, whereas the Behringer has 12 volts. You know. uh, yeah. So what happened was first, um, the dial here um, has a stick slip effect. So it takes quite the force to start turning it on the Behringer. This is absolute as cheap as this part is. It is absolutely smooth and I know uh, expensive uh, dials like this who are butter smooth, very smooth. But on this one here, if you see, if I, if I don't touch it with much force, you need a certain force to get it moving. And then you usually will do this if you want to make precise adjustments. So it's scratchy. You can even hear it. Uh, Mike won't pick it up right now, but there's a, there's a little scratchiness in there. So uh, it takes a lot of force to turn, not what I'm used to from high quality stuff. Yeah, the, the plug here, that's okay. It uh, sits in very tight, the small one at least. Switch, this, the switch is very scratchy. I don't know whether it scratches on the casing here, probably. Yeah, but so I connected it with high quality uh, the cables here and uh, I was appalled because according to the specs, so the Behringer is uh, named, said to have um, 60 uh, milliwatt amplification at 100 ohms and this one here much higher, uh, four times as high. And that is very misleading. I was surprised that if I turn this thing halfway up, like this, if I use this half of this. To get the same volume here, I have to crank it at least three quarters up, if not full. So um, I get less volume here, so I have to crank it full more often. And then uh, I hear my mouse moving on my computer and I hear a background noise all the time. And I do not get it with this connected via the same cables. I also tried a different cable. So no matter how I connect this and I can crank it full up, 
and, and if you can get full up, the, the sound quality is not the best and I'm using onboard sound, but nevertheless, this is okay, but this one has all that noise uh, that uh, comes through. So that was quite disappointing overall that this was in no way an improvement. So mainly I wanted to you know, not have this scratch all the time here. So I guess uh, sadly the better alternative uh, in a reasonable price range is to just get another one of this. Very sad because from the style and the description and everything, I expected this to be better. You know, but if I crank it up to the same volume as the uh, Behringer, uh, the sound quality isn't really better here. I mean, onboard sound, you know, it's limited by that. But uh, yeah, sadly, there is absolutely no improvement by using this here because the, the micro adjustments where the other one is crackling all the time, I can't even turn it with that kind of precision here. It always makes little steps. And I don't know whether that is because it scratches on the casing here, but it feels like it is something internally or maybe both. Yeah, that is sad. So yeah, just no, this is, this is not really an alternative. Uh, I don't know how the PHA2 is allegedly has more amplification or whatever, but um, for this price, gives you something that looks nice, but performs less than this cheap ass stuff here. Uh, yeah, and I just get another one of those. Yeah, that was about the Sabash PHA1. Okay, so if this was useful to you, if you like getting this detailed feedback, you know, give this a like or far or subscribe, support me, whatever way you like. Write your comments, your thoughts in the video description, in the video comments. And then see you in the next video. Dolphin signing out.